How to configure and activate the ADS Echo with QStart. This video will cover the following steps for configuration and activation of the Echo to deliver data and alarms to FlowView. Creating and configuring an Echo, activating the Echo, and verifying wireless communication. Before going out to the field, be sure you have the ADS Blue Magnet, the ADS Bluetooth dongle, you download the ADS Bluetooth driver from the ADS website and install it onto the field computer. You activate the SIM card in the Echo. For instructions, refer to the ADS Echo QStart Quick Reference Guide found on the ADS website. Connect the ADS Bluetooth dongle to a USB port and launch QStart. Access QStart settings by clicking on the settings button in the lower left corner. The settings dialog screen will automatically display the first time you run the QStart software. Make sure the version is 1.6 or higher. Browse to your QStart data path or create a new path folder. This defines the directory to which the lifts and collected flow data are saved. Notice that the Bluetooth port has been populated by connecting the Bluetooth dongle. Click OK to save the settings from this dialog. You are ready to configure an Echo location. Select New. QStart's default location information will display. Enter the name of the Echo installation under Location Name. The name may be up to 19 characters in length, but do not put a space in the location name. Also, do not duplicate more than the first seven characters of another location's name unless the eighth or later character is followed by an underscore and a unique character. Select Echo for the series type and enter the serial number. Leave the default values for the sample rate as 5 minutes and the fast rate as 5 minutes unless you desire a faster sampling rate during alarm conditions. Select Wireless for the connect type and enter the IP address. When entering an IP address, do not include leading zeros in the address. Our initial communication with the Echo will be with Bluetooth, so after you enter the IP address, change the connect type to Bluetooth. Under Monitoring Point 1, select the type or shape of the pipe that the Echo will be monitoring. The height and width can be approximation since the installation of the Echo requires no manhole descent. Now configure the Echo devices. Select Long Range Depth and View to open the Long Range Depth device screen. Notice that the location name and device name are displayed at the top of the dialog box. Enter the measured manhole depth and physical offset. Click OK. Next select Time Zone and View to open the Time Zone device screen. Select the appropriate time zone for the Echo. Disable the Daylight Saving Rule if applicable. Click OK. Click Save to save the current parameters. Next select Alarms and View to open the Alarms device screen. Configure the alarms of interest. The Echo will trigger an alarm when a threshold is crossed. As an example, Check Enable and enter a depth threshold for high level. The echo will trigger a high level alarm when the unit depth depth value has exceeded the threshold value. For overflow, check Enable. The echo will trigger an overflow event when flow depth exceeds the manhole depth value when the location is experiencing overflow conditions. For tilt, check Enable and leave the threshold at the default value of 5 degrees. The echo will trigger a tilt alarm when the echo is not level, when there is a change in orientation over the threshold. Note that while the echo is in a tilt alarm state, the only alarms that will be initiated are low battery, overflow, or tilt return to normal. This eliminates fault step alarms. When desired alarms are configured, click OK. For more detailed information on alarms, Refer to the ADS Echo QStart Quick Reference Guide.
The next device is Data Delivery. Select Data Delivery in View to open the Data Delivery device screen. Enter the server IP address for FlowView. This is where the Echo would deliver data and cry out its alarm triggers. Normal. This is the rate at which the Echo would deliver data to FlowView during normal flow conditions. The fast rate is the delivery rate during alarm conditions. Select OK. Select Save. You can create a template of this installation setup by clicking Set as default. The next time you click on New, the template parameters will populate the screen. Next, activate the Echo using Bluetooth. Hold the blue ADS magnet on the wake activation point until the comms LED flashes deep blue. This should take 5 to 10 seconds. Click the Activate button. This displays the progress of activation. Activate Successful will display in the lower left-hand corner of the screen when the activation is complete. The Echo is activated. Next, select the Advanced Device and View. On the Diagnostic tab, select Set. This sets the baseline for tilt parameters for the installed Echo. Click OK. Test fire the long range depth sensor by highlighting the long range depth device in view. Then select Read. Observe the results to ensure proper sensor performance. Click OK to exit the test firing. Next, access power saving parameters if desired. Click on the Advanced button in the Functions section. Select Update under Power Saving. The Power Saving Configuration dialog displays the current power saving parameters. The Echo is delivered with power to the modem set to always off. With this setting, the monitor automatically powers up the wireless modem each day between 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. to receive incoming calls. Note that the Echo will still deliver data and alarm notifications regardless of the power saving configuration. Refer to the Echo QStart Quick Reference Guide to make any changes. Changing from the factory setting of always off will impact your battery consumption. Click OK to save any changes to the power saving parameters. Click on the Close button to exit the Advanced Functions dialog. Now hang up. The last step, verify wireless communication. Verify the Echo has an antenna attached. Change the connection type to wireless. Hold the blue magnet on the wake activation point for 25 seconds or until the sense LED turns dark magenta. Hold the magnet for another 1 to 2 seconds and then quickly remove the magnet. The comms LED will change to a slow flashing green when the modem connects to the network. Click on the status button in QStart. Once connected and the monitor status has been retrieved, the status screen will display. Close the monitor status screen. Wireless communication has been verified. Hang up. Click Save. The configuration and activation of the Echo is complete. If you require more detailed information on how to configure and activate the ADS Echo, download the ADS Echo QStart Quick Reference Guide from the ADS website or refer to QStart's online help.